So hello, um, good afternoon. My name is um, Raul Moreira, and it's a pleasure to be participating in the, this conference. And I'll present a working title, Effect of Adhesive Type on the Tensile Behavior of Tubular Scarf Adhesive Joints. I'll make this uh, presentation in my behalf, in behalf of our student, um, José Silva, Professor Campillo, and Professor um, Isidro sanchez Um the presentation is divided in the following uh, topics. First, it will be stated the, the objectives, a small introduction to um, uh, adhesive jo joints with characterization of this, uh, these joints and the strength prediction also used in this kind um, of joints. After that, the, the development, it will be presented the methodology, an experimental validation, and then a numerical work with, um, in what um, we study uh, different parameters, and at the end, the, the conclusions. The main objectives of uh, this work um, is the assessment of the cohesive zone model suitability in the prediction of the tensile behavior of scarf tubular joints, as well as understanding the influence of modifying the scarf angle and the type of the DZ. Uh, it is also performed experimental data validation for uh, overlap uh, tubular joints. Numerical CZM analysis in abacus of tubular joints with different scarf angles and different adhesive types will be from the study of the peel and shear stresses in the DC layer, and at the end, uh, it will be performed the strength analysis of the scarf tubular joints or the p delta curves. Here is a small state of the art review for the adhesive um, joints. The main advantages are larger area of stress distribution, excellent fatigue resistance, uh, possibility of joining uh, dissimilar materials, and um, a good strength to weight ratio. And the main disadvantages of adhesive joints at, um, is that they require surface, surface preparation. They have limited working temperatures, uh, the need of curing process, process and uh, low, resistance, uh, low resistance to peel loads. Uh, now a, set, a little set of the art um, review for the strength prediction of uh, adhesive joints. Firstly, it will be presented um, the analytical models. They are based on difference, um, differential equations that characterize the state of the stress and the deformation of adhesive bonds. They disregard the variation of the stresses along the joint, use simplifications and assumptions to determine the solution, the difficult to account for non-linearities of the system, allows the assessment of the disease thickness, joint width and length variations, it's a straightforward application in parametric studies, and uh, the pioneer formulations uh, were made by Walkerson and uh, Golan and Reisner. Now, in terms of the numerical models, they are based in continuum me mechanics, fracture mechanics, damage mechanics, extended finite element method, and the cohesive zone models. Uh, the cohesive zone models enables the analysis of crack initiation and propagation. Uh, local and global approximation in the modeling uh, in modeling damage. Mm, the, the main limitation is um, the need to insert cohesive elements in the damage path, and the existence uh, CZMs uh, they have um, the shape of an exponential law, linear parabolic, polynomial, trapezoidal, uh, trapezoidal, trapezoidal and um, triangular uh, shape. Now passing to the to the development, uh, the methodology. Here is presented uh, the main geometries for the tubular adhesive joint. In this case, it will be performed the experimental validation, and afterwards, uh, numerical work will be performed in scarf tubular adhesive joints. Here is also presented the main fracture and mechanical uh, properties of the adhesives. The Raldite AV138, which is uh, considered a brittle, brittle adhesive. RLD 2015, which is considered the uh, moderate uh, ductile, and CK47752, which is uh, ductile adhesive. Now, in terms of the numerical um, analysis conditions, the simulations were performed in the Abacus software. They have uh, already built in a um, um, cohesive zone model that predicts the strength of adhesive joints. Uh, the finite element method uh, analysis were based um, in the fact that the adherents were modeled with axisymmetric deformable elements, and the adhesive layer was modeled with axisymmetric cohesive elements. Here is um, the example of the, um, the, two, um, the two specimens, the tubular adhesive joint and the scarf tubular adhesive joint. And here is the detail of the, the adhesive layer. In terms of the boundary conditions, both of the, um, the specimens were clamped at one side, and then it was applied um, an horizontal displacement at the other um, side. 
Now passing to the experimental validation, um, this was performed only for the tubular adhesive joints. Here is presented the, um, the low displacement curves for the overlap length of 20 millimeters and 40 millimeters, and this is the case for, for the Aldi AB138. In gray color is experimental results, and it uh, orange color are the numerical ones. The, the objective was the validation of the numerical technique in conjunction with the engineering the properties, experimental and numerical um, low displacement curves comparison, and the um, next main conclusion is that the numerical results faithfully reproduced experimental ones. Now it's presenting the results in terms of the maximum strength uh, as function of the overlap length. And here is presented uh, both the experimental and the numerical results for the three adhesives. The adhesive where RLD TV138 and RLD2015 presents the smallest uh, relative differences. The CK47752 numerical maximum strength values are lower when compared to the experimental ones. The CZM triangular law under, underestimates the CK47752 adhesive and uh, obtain the numerical results are considered valid. Now passing to the um, to a numerical work of the um, tubular, the scarf tubular adhesive joints, and um, here is going to be presented the stress uh, extraction procedure. Here is an example of the, the mesh used, and uh, the um, the change of the cohesive elements to solid uh, solid homogeneous elements, a mesh refinement through the adhesive layer thickness, path creation and stress data extraction from Abacus, and then after that, transformation of the stress values in the local system into the correct uh, referential or the global system. Now passing to the results of the pill stress um, analysis, here is presented uh, the pill stress analysis for the RLD TV138 RLD2015 and CK47752. It is presented the pill stress as normalized by the shear average stress um, in function of the overlap length. The increase of the peak stress is with the increase um, of the scarf angle. The stress mag magnitude along the overlap um, length tend to be higher with the increase of the scarf angle. As the scarf angle increases, the values of the peel stresses tend to converge with the average shear stress. Due to the transverse deformation of the joint, the peak stress concentrations are located uh, near the bound edges. In terms of the shear stresses um, distribution, the same um, the same display here, uh, RLD TV138, RLD2015, CK47752. The scarf tubular joints are characterized by a nearly uniform shear stress distribution along the overlap. Then there are reduced stress peaks at the bond edges, especially for lower scarf angles. The RLD TV138 presents the most relevant stress peaks due to its brittleness. And generally, there is a slight increase of the shear stress peak for a scarf angle of 3.43 degrees. Now passing on to the strength prediction, the, the, the low displacement curves. Also here the, for the three adhesives, and um, it is um, shown for the, um, the five scarf angles analyzed. For all the adhesives, the maximum strength increases with the decrease of scarf angle. This fact is essentially due to the increase uh, in resistance uh, sectional area of the joints resulting from the decrease of the, the angle. And the uh, adherent plasticization was found for the scarf um, joint with a uh, scarf angle of 3.43 degree and bonded with the adhesives AB138 and 2015. Here is the display the, the, the maximum strength um, results in function of the scarf angle. And for all the adhesives, the maximum strength increases with the um, decrease of the scarf angle. The scarf tubular joints with um, an angle of 3.43 degrees and bonded with uh, AV138 and 2015 adhesives are the ones that present the highest maximum strength, which is limited by the adherence. And the CK47752 reveals the highest percentual increase of the strength. Finally, passing to the, to the main conclusions of this work, the pill stress distribution represent peaks at the bound edges, with, which, uh, which tend to increase with the scarf angle decrease. The scarf tubular joints pr practically guarantee an uniform uh, shear stress distribution along the overlap length. 
the scar tubular joints are not sensitive to the disease stiffness and scar angle variation regarding the shear stress distribution. The strength of the disease joint is highly influenced by the values of the scar angle. And the, square, the strength of the scarf tubular joint depends mainly on the scarf angle and on the mechanical properties of the DZ. Thank you very much for your, um, for your attention. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.